Hi, my name is Luanne Wise and this is a walkthrough of the LinkedIn events feature. From your desktop, down the left hand side, it's really easy to set up a LinkedIn event. So scroll down, find events and the plus button. Here, if you have your assets already, it is obviously much quicker. You will need a cover image and you will need some copy for your event. So I host a regular event. We do the same format every single month. So I have everything ready for this. I will upload the cover image. Add alt text to describe the image. And then I'm going to use the drop down menus to add the details. So you can host a LinkedIn event from a personal profile or a company page. I will host this one from my personal page. You can identify whether your event is taking place online or if it's in person. This feature can be used however you are hosting your event. It's not just for events that are being hosted on LinkedIn. But I am hosting this event on LinkedIn, so I will keep it as online. And then I will select the LinkedIn Live option. As you can see here, it does say that you need to stream from a third party tool. And I use StreamYard to do that. I'll give the event a name, which is Social Media Updates with Luann and Andy. This will take place in October 2024. Check the time zone, check the date. We always do it on the last Thursday of the month. So this will be the 31st and we go at 11 a.m. You can include an end date and time if you wish. You don't need to. I will untick that. I'm copying and pasting in the description from copy I prepared earlier, adding myself in as a speaker, adding in Andy as a speaker. This will send him a notification which he will need to accept to have his details shown on the page. Then simply next, and the event is ready to go. This will automatically try and set up a post to go out from my personal profile. So I'm going to do that. No text right now for the purpose of this demo, but normally I would add some text. So now the event is set up. I can see that through the left hand side of my home page. See all my events, whether I'm attending or organizing them, what's coming up. And I can see the event right here. So now I want to start letting people know about the event. I've done a post from my personal profile, but I can send notifications to my connections. And I can do that really simply. Hit the share. Go invite and then it opens up my connection details. And if I want to, I can filter that. So this is really useful if perhaps it's a local event that you're hosting face to face, or whether it's an event for particular organizations or contacts that you have. I'm going to pick here a particular school because this is an event for marketers. So I can pick people who have done a CIM qualifications and go through and select. I can do it individually, or I could simply scroll down for a little bit, click this button here, which would select all of them, tap the blue invite button, and it would send that notification off to everyone. They would see something really simple in their notifications tab that says Luanne Wise has invited you to social media updates October 2024. They can then accept or ignore that request. Let's look at a previous event that has already taken place. So as I said, this is a monthly event. This took place in July 2024. Now the event has happened because it was a LinkedIn Live. The header image has been replaced by the live recording. You can see that there. Anyone that registered to attend the event can see that. You can share it out. But now we have some analytics as well. I can see here that 168 people registered to attend the event. And if I go to the networking tab, I can see who all of those are, how we 
are connected, whether it's through a group, whether it's through local uh, status, and I can see whether I'm already connected to them with a no number here, which would mean a first level connection or a second means I'm not connected to them yet. And I can send messages. I also, because this event has taken place and I was the organizer, I've also got some analytics here. I can see how many people register to attend. I can see attendance metrics and I can change the date range on this if I wish to just quickly do the last 365 days. You can see when the event took place, there was clearly a peak. I can see full analytics of this post in terms of impressions, how many members it reached, how many engagements it's got, and how many views it had live, and since it finished, people watching the recording. So it's a really valuable tool, free to use on LinkedIn, um, and I highly recommend it.